Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Here on my YouTube channel, I post a variety of different budgeting related videos, usually three times a week. So if that is content that you may be interested in, I would really love it if you were to subscribe. So today I am filming my February paycheck number one budget closeout. So this is the paycheck for me that actually was on January the 27th, although I did count that as my first paycheck in February. And this had to carry me up until February the 9th um, because I got paid for the second time in on February the 10th. I film and do these bi-weekly budgets more so just to check that I have enough money <laughs> left over at the end of these paychecks and I'm not doing something that would negatively affect my finances. Um, I do have a buffer in my checking account. I'm trying to build that up eventually to around $1,000. Um, so it's not like the end of the world if I end up going negative in some of these categories, but I still like to try to keep as close to like zero or positive as possible. So anyways, let's get started. Um, I'm sorry about the shadows, you guys. Like I have my ring light and I, but I can't find the charger. So not a very good situation, but I mean, that is okay. Um, I'm sure I'll eventually find it. But for now, there's like a bit of shadow, but I don't think it's too bad. So yeah. Anyways, let's start off with my income. So again, I'm a salaried employee. I get paid the same amount every other paycheck, but the first few paychecks that I receive in every year or basically every year at this point, um, I'm not fully sure exactly what I'm going to get for them because taxes are different. I got a small raise, all that kind of stuff. So I budgeted off of the amount that I would have gotten like prior to 2023, the actual amount that I received was $1,969. So that was a positive difference. I didn't grab my pens, <laughs> sorry. Um, that was a positive difference of $75, which is great. Um, always like to see that being positive. And then second, I do list out an other line. Um, other is just a catch-all category for me, um, and I usually budget zero dollars, and it usually stays at zero. And this paycheck that was correct, so no difference there. So overall, my income for this paycheck was nine thousand six hundred or one thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine dollars, <laughs> which again was just that total of that positive seventy-five dollars. Next, move I move on to my fixed expenses. So my fixed expenses for me are basically just anything that I don't do a weekly check-in for. Um, this comes like bills, but also to like I budget getting my nails done. That is absolutely not a bill. That's just a choice, but it is a fixed expense because I do tend to go every two weeks. So the first fixed expense that I have was my rent. So this was paying the second half of my February the 1st rent and I budgeted $600 and that was exactly correct so no difference. My phone bill I budgeted $59 which was correct so again no difference. Um, my phone bill is for it also includes my financed phone which was an iPhone 12 mini so that's actually not a bad price to pay for Canada. Next, I have my tenant's insurance, which is $25, which is exactly what I paid, so no difference there. Internet, I budgeted 60, and that was what I paid, so again, no difference. Hydro was actually very high, so this would have been like my hydro that I used in the month of, um, in the month of January. So I was like very surprised because again, I've so talked about this in the past, but typically for me, um, my months of like the summer are high usage when it comes to hydro because my heat, which is what like um, heats my home, is actually with gas. And that's with my rent, like that's included in my rent as long as well as my water. But hydro is like electricity. So I was very surprised that electricity was as high as it was because it's normally high in the winter. Sorry, it's normally high in the summer when I'm using my air conditioning and low in the winter. But I mean, it is what it is. It was $6 over, so yeah. Next, I have my nails. So nails, I budgeted $28 for, and that was exactly what I paid, so no difference there. Um, next, I have sinking funds. I budgeted $300. Um, technically, in this paycheck, I didn't actually do my sinking funds, but I did budget to do two, six, $300 towards my sinking funds in this paycheck and $300 in my last paycheck, and that was actually the video that you saw yesterday. So technically I did do six or $300 for my sinking funds. 
savings, I budgeted 80, which is exactly what I did. This is an automatic transfer now for me. Um, I used to do this when I was doing my sinking funds. I don't anymore. I now do this as like an automatic transfer into a high interest savings account. This for me is if I'm saving $40 a week for the entire year, I'll have over $2,000 at the end of the year, which is pretty good. So $80 there. And then finally, I have debt. So this is going towards my personal loan number three. Um, I am keeping this money also in a savings account just because I have to kind of save up the entire amount for this um, before I pay it off and it's a full $3,700. I had saved $100 back in January and then in February um, I transferred another $400 the day that I got paid so there's no difference there as well. So if you add all of those categories up it gives me a total of $1,628 which again is that six dollars over budget in the hydro which again was very very odd but I mean it is what it is next I move on to my variable expenses so if you guys saw my video from Monday you'll know that week one and two were very very low spends for me for February that is not my norm and it's really <laughs> like I'm week three isn't over yet when I'm filming this video but you're gonna see week three like I had a lot of transactions in week three but that was okay like I wasn't mad at that but definitely weeks one and two were not my norm so for groceries, I budgeted myself $120 for this paycheck, which is $60 per week. I actually only spent $59 in groceries, which again, very, very low. Um, $61 under budget in groceries. Like I spent half my grocery budget. Like if I could spend $30 a week every single week on groceries, that would be amazing, but that's just really not realistic. So yeah, anyways, groceries was 59. Dining out, I budgeted $80, which was $40 a week, and I actually spent $47. So again, that's like closer to the amount that I budgeted, but it's still actually $33 under budget, which is again, very, very good. Gas, I budgeted $20. I actually spent $19. So that means that I was technically $1 under budget in gas. This is a category that I'm 99% sure I'm actually going to end up going over in February. I obviously didn't go over in this paycheck, but I do think I'm going to go over overall. So when I end up actually setting up my March budget, which I think is actually supposed to be my video on Friday, I'm going to up this to $15 a week rather than just $10. And then finally, miscellaneous. Interestingly enough, I didn't spend anything in miscellaneous in this first paycheck in February, which was very odd because if you guys remember, I did a low spend in January, so I didn't spend anything in miscellaneous in the month of January. So technically, six weeks into the year, I've spent no miscellaneous money. And I definitely spent miscellaneous money in my second paycheck of February, but my first paycheck I didn't, which again, kind of cool. So anyways, if you add all of these up, it gives me a total spend of $125. And if you take the 270, which I expected to spend, and you subtract the 125 that I did spend, it means that I am actually under budget in my variable expenses by $145. And if I reconcile that quickly, if I take the 61 plus 33 plus one plus 50, it gives me the 145, which is really, really good. So now I'm going to bring down my totals and find how much I have left over at the end of this paycheck. So if I take down my income, which again was the $1,969, which again had that positive amount of $75 extra because I did get paid a bit more. So let's add that here, 1969. Then I bring down my fixed expenses, which was 1,628. So minus 1,628, which again was a little bit over. So over by six. And then I bring down my variable expenses, which was 125, which again was awesome because that was $145 over under budget. So again, minus 125. It leaves me at the end of this paycheck with $216. So I had budgeted to only have $2. I have 216, which means I saved $214 more than I expected to at the end of this paycheck. And again, if I reconcile that quickly, I've got 75 minus six 
plus 145. It gives me the 214, which is awesome. But again, this is kind of skewed. I don't do anything with this money. Like I know that there's a lot of people who would take this and like make an extra debt payment or something. I don't do that. I only do my like money moves sort of things at the end of the month. So once I close out the entire month of February, then I'm gonna be taking this and sort of like figuring out what I actually do have left over because I can tell you right away that these numbers that I have here for my variable expenses for February paycheck number two, I'm gonna be over on a lot of these because I was under in like these weeks. So I knew I still had the money technically for the month. And again, I know that for some people that doesn't really make a whole lot of logical sense it just helps me again I really don't film these videos or do these budgets to actually like do anything with my finances I know there was a time back in the summer where I was kind of having to because like I was trying to prepare for a vacation and I was really trying not to go into debt when I went on vacation but ultimately for me I do I really just film these videos to make sure that like I'm not choosing like okay I'm gonna actually do $800 towards debt in this paycheck and then make that transfer and then ultimately have my accounts go negative. Um, and again, I do have a buffer, but it's not a large buffer. So I really do have to be careful when I'm doing that. So anyways, that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sorry about my nails. I know that I don't have my thumbs done, but I was doing gel polish and I was bad the other day. I was picking it all off. So I had to redo them. So, and I just, I hadn't re already done my thumbs yet. And I really wanted to film this video before work started because again, I'm filming this video on Wednesday. Wednesday. It is going up on Wednesday. Again, I'm falling back into my old habits when it comes to this kind of stuff, which isn't good, but it is what it is. So yeah, my next video should be up on Friday and that's actually going to be my March budget setup. And I am genuinely thinking that I'm going to try and maybe do another low spend in the month of March. I'm not hundred percent positive yet, but January was just so nice. And even though February was awesome, because like, again, it was my birthday month. I still just like, I'm thinking that I want to try to do another low spend in March because of Glenn, that was just it was so it was so refreshing I think so yeah anyways that is it for today thank you guys and you guys so much for tuning in I will see you again on Friday and I hope you have an amazing couple days goodbye